Good evening and welcome back to Amit News, your place for the latest updates across the Amit network. My name is Daniel Brill, welcome to the show. We start off the show with rejuvenation. After much investment and great efforts, accompanied by the support of Ben Cohen, the head of the Be'er Tovia Regional Council, the renovated synagogue for the students was inaugurated at the Amit Be'er Ami High School. The event opened with the setting of the mezuzah, festive prayer service and dancing, together with the Israeli flags and the Torah scrolls. During the celebration, the name of the synagogue was revealed, Tiferet Ami, the glory of my people. The name was suggested by the students. The food stands were entrusted to the parents who generously donated and provided sumptuous refreshments for all those celebrating. Tomer Ramano, principal of Amit Be'er Ami, said, This event occurred against all odds and in a very short time. Thanks to the support of those around us, we were able to set up a synagogue that will serve as a bed midrash for all the school students. We held the celebrations despite the shortage of many educators who were drafted into the reserves, and yet we were blessed with uplifting and powerful joy. Four years after the passing of Rabbi Sachs, Sulchan Ali Racha, Amit students continued his legacy. On the fourth anniversary of the passing of Rabbi Yonatan Sachs, Sulchan Ali Racha, dozens of Amit students from all over the country participated in a special day of study of his Torah and in his memory at the National Library in Jerusalem. These students regularly take part in a unique program for studying the Torah of Rabbi Sachs at Amit in collaboration with the Rabbi Sachs Legacy. The morning began with joint study in the Rabbi Sachs Torah Fellowships, followed by a tour of the National Library, during which they were exposed to Rabbi Sachs' spiritual legacy. The centerpiece of the special day was a fascinating personal meeting and interview with the president of the Rabbi Sachs Legacy, Joanna Benarosh, who was the director of his office during his years as chief rabbi. The moving meeting was led by Rabbi Amir Dadon, the coordinator of the program at Amit, and included an interview and discussion between the students and Joanna, and a deeper and more personal introduction to the character of the rabbi. Ben Arosh shared with the students that when Rabbi Sachs travelled around the world, he would first go to see the Jewish schools. For him, he saw in the face of the youth the future of the people of Israel. If he were here with us now, he would be very excited. Rabbi Sachs would see in your faces, the faces of the youth, the hope of the people of Israel. Finally, the fascinating story of how a Torah scroll that survived the Holocaust arrives at the Nova site. In the memory space of the Nova site, a ceremony was held to introduce a special Torah scroll that was written about 200 years ago and survived the Holocaust. The scroll was redeemed and donated by a community rabbi from the United States to Yeshivat Amid Yagel in Ashdod after he met the Rosh Hashiva on a tour of the Nova Forest about six months ago. This Torah scroll was written in Czechoslovakia about 200 years ago. After the Holocaust, a non-Jewish man found the Torah scroll that had been hidden but did not know what to do with it, and so it was found dumped in a basement in Marseille in France. Several years ago, the scroll was offered for sale and purchased by members of the East Valley Jewish community in Phoenix, Arizona, led by Rabbi Michael Bayo, CEO of the Community Center and the Six Million Voices Organization for Holocaust Remembrance in the United States. Following the outbreak of the Iron Swords War, Rabbi Bayo sought to find a suitable place for the Torah scroll, which would continue the journey of the Jewish people. During a meeting with Rabbi Shalom Malul in the Nova Forest, the idea of donating the scroll to the Amidya Gel Shiva in Ashad arose. The two decided on an exciting closing of a circle to begin the event in the forest where the Jews were murdered in the terrible massacre. The 12th grade students prayed Shachrit in the forest and then a ceremony was held to complete the correction of the last letter in the Torah scroll. After that, the procession set out through the forest, joined by bereaved families and many people who were in the forest. From there, they continued to a moving ceremony in the Beit Midrash Hall at the Amidya Gel Ashad Yeshiva. The Rana Kodesh in the yeshiva is the only reconstruction in the world, the one at the Chachmei Lublin Yeshiva, which was destroyed by the Nazis in the Holocaust. Owner Rabbi Michael Bayo told those present, I'm very moved by the special occasion, that today we are completing the restoration and writing of this Torah scroll that was saved from the Holocaust, and with the help of the donation from the East Valley JCC community in Phoenix, Arizona, we restored this Torah scroll after over 80 years after the destruction of European Jewry. We're donating this Torah scroll to the Amit Yeshiva in Ashdod so that hundreds and thousands of students will learn from it and use it. The Torah scroll will give life to students who in a few months and years will be the ones who will protect the Jewish people and they will be the ones who will ensure that we can always continue to live in the land and the world as proud Jews, Jews who give light to the world and in the merit of the Torah and the students, Am Yisrael Chai, the Jewish people live. The student Aron Ravivo shared, we came here to the Nova Forest to receive this Torah scroll that was saved from the Holocaust 200 years ago. We came here to investigate and hear and listen to the families about all the fallen of our holy people. We'll walk around the forest again and hear all the stories about the pure souls that were here. His friend Avram ben Moshe added, Yesterday this holy Torah scroll landed in Israel. We were privileged to bring it in to receive it this morning after the Shachrit prayer in the Nova Forest. All of us dancing with this Torah scroll. Our people experienced the terrible disaster that happened to us on October 7th. We are really excited when the Torah scroll arrives at the yeshiva and we get to read it and use it in the yeshiva in the readings on Mondays and Thursdays. Rashalom Malul, the principal of the yeshiva, said, Today is a very happy day for the people of Israel, a very happy day for the students and the community of Yeshivat Amit Yagel Ashdod. This Torah scroll was saved from the Holocaust in Czechoslovakia. For nearly 80 years it was not lifted up or read from, not on Shabbat, not on the festivals, not on Mondays and Thursdays because of the haters of Israel. The Nazis had to eradicate the name of Israel so the name of Israel would be no longer remembered. But they did not know that the people of Israel are the eternal people, the living people of Israel. With God's help, we will be worthy to revive this scroll, the reading of it, the verses and the letters that illuminate the light of life of the people of Israel, the eternity of the people of Israel. This Torah scroll entered the Ark at Yeshiva Tiagel, one and the only replica of the Ark at the Yeshiva of the sages of Lublin and the Germans destroyed. 
This is the story of our people. Even if we fell, we rose. Am Hanetzach lo mafached midarech aruka. The eternal people are not afraid of a long journey. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas that you would like us to cover, feel free to reach out to us in our comments on social media, including Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. We appreciate your feedback, and I look forward to bringing you more exciting news next time.